This video reviews how to find the nth term or the formula for two different types of sequences. One is low grade, the other is much higher grade. And I show a trick to find the nth term for both types of sequences. The first type of sequence has got a constant pattern. And the way you approach this is you find what's called the first difference or the difference between each of the terms in the sequence. So 8 to 11 is 3. 11 to 14 is 3. 14 to 17 is also 3. So there's a constant difference between each of the terms. This is called a linear sequence. And this means its formula is of the form 3n, this is the common difference, plus or minus some other number. And the trick to find the other number is that these two numbers here, the 3 and the question mark, always add or subtract to make the first term in the sequence. Now the first term is 8. 3 plus something is 8. 3 plus 5 is 8. So the unknown number is just 5. This works because when n is 1, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 5 is 8. When n is 2, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 5 is 11. When n is 3, 3 3 is a 9, plus 5 is 14. So this is the formula, the nth term for this sequence. So again, the number next to the n is always the common difference. We have, and then we have to add or subtract some number and the numbers always add to make the first term in the sequence. The second one has got a slightly different pattern, and it's called a quadratic sequence. And this is why. If you find the first difference, 8 to 19 is 11, 19 to 34 is 15, and 34 to 53 is 19, the first difference this time is not constant. However, if you then find the differences of the differences, i.e. the second difference, 11 to 15 is 4, 15 to 19 is also 4. The second difference is constant. And when you get a second difference that's the same each time, it's called a quadratic sequence. And rather than of the form something n plus a number, it's got a different formula of the form a, n squared plus bn plus c. And the question is, is, can you find a, b and c in the formula to get the nth term? a, b and c are just unknown numbers. And there's three really simple tricks you can use to find what a, b and c are. Now the first trick or golden rule is really, really simple. To find a, all we ever have to do is halve that second difference. So the second difference is 4 in this case. So to find A, you take whatever that second difference is, and you'd always halve it. So 4 divided by 2 is just 2. So A is just 2. So it's always a half of the second difference. That's the first golden rule. The second one involves that first, first difference. And the second rule is always this. Three lots of whatever A is, plus B, is always equal to this first difference here. Clearly that number can change, but in this case it's 11. So we can now find B because we know what a is. So it's always 3 times a. a is 2. So it's always 3 times this number. 3 times 2 is 6. b is unknown, but the answer has got to be 11. So b has got to equal 5, because 6 plus 5 is 11. The third golden rule involves not this, not this, but this number here. And it's very simple. A plus B plus C always equal the first term. I know that A is 2. I know that B is 5. 
C's unknown, but they add to make 8. Well, 2 plus 5 is 7, so C must equal 1. So A is 2, B is 5, C is 1. So the nth term for this quadratic sequence is 2 n squared plus 5 n plus 1. To show it works, if n is 1, 1 squared is 1, times 2 is 2. 5 times 1 is 5, 2 plus 5 plus 1 makes 8. If n is 2, 2 squared is 4. 2 times 4 is 8, 5 times 2 is 10, 8 plus 10 plus 1 is 19. So this formula generates the sequence. And again, the tricks are very simple. A is a half of the second difference, is always 3a plus b is 11, and is always